Hello guys, welcome to Finding Signals. Today we are going to analyze the stock of Trident Walls. Now Trident Walls is the India's largest tire wall manufacturer. Company also has products like walls for tubes, tubeless walls, wall cores, walls of auto air conditioning, industrial and home air conditioner walls, components of walls, flash busters, other accessories and other products and tools. If we have a look at the industries served by Triton was there, there are variety of industries which the company serves. Let's start with the first industry which is tire and tube walls. In tire and tube walls company has big clients including Apollo, Birla tires, Bial Krishna tires, Bridgestone, MRF, JK tires, CL. So we can see almost all big names under this industry. When we have a look at the automotive industry, we can see the names like Bajaj, GM, Hero, Honda, Mahindra, Tata, Toyota and many more. In the truck and bus fields also they have big lines like Ashok Leyland, Daimler, Force, Tata, Volvo. Another one is automotive air conditioning which includes Mahal, Sandin. In tire pressure monitoring system, we can see names like Orange Electronic, SMP, Tires and Trims. Also in industrial and home air conditioning, the most famous companies like Blue Star, Lloyd, Schneider Electric. Guys, all these companies, most of these companies are also listed in the stock market. For electric vehicles, they have partnered with Ether and Hero Electric. Now in two wheelers mainly. We are focusing on three companies as of now and and the third company is Ola Electric. In aerospace and defense, they have partnered with Ashok Leyland, BML, Tata Motors, Wheels India Limited. Along with it in mining and construction also BML, Celite, JCB, l Construction also. So guys, we just saw that company is not only catering to important sectors, but they have diversification across all sectors and they are not catering to only one or two big clients, but have multiple client in every sector. This gives a lot of stability to the company. If we have a look at the market cap, then the company has market cap around 142 crores. So it is a small cap company. If we compare revenue and earnings, we can see that their PE ratio comes to be 14.9. So their PE ratio is not huge, which is another positive sign for the company. The current price of the stock is 1,369 and book value is rupees 831. Now there is not much difference between the price of the stock and the book value because of which price to book value is 1.64. But for the industry, price to book value is more than the company which is 2.58 so just looking at this price to book value company seems cheap or undervalued and return on capital employed is 9% while return on equity is 9.57% so these returns ratios are not that impressive debt to equity ratio is above 1 now this is one alarming sign about the company Face value of the stock is rupees 10 and it has generated 80% returns in the last one year. Also dividend yield is good. It is around 1.46 percentage. The PE ratio of the stock is less than the industry. For industry, we can see that it is around 22, but for this company, it is just 14. So here also company seems undervalued. Having a look at some more important details about Triton Walls, then they are the major original equipment supplier to both tire and automobile industries. So it is clear fact that the company is majorly dependent upon the automotive industry. And if it performs well, then the company might also perform well. Company has presence across various industries as we earlier discussed, including air conditioning, hydraulics to aerospace, mining, defense, industrial, HVAC. Trident Walls has 75% of the market share in domestic automotive tube walls and core segment and 100% of their revenue comes from selling tube walls. Exports contribute to 8% of the revenue and 46% of the revenue is contributed by the top 5 customers of the company as of FY20.
having a look at the quarterly statements we can see that the sales of the company have remained stable despite of the fact that the company is largely dependent upon the automobile sector and which is cyclical in nature so we cannot expect the same growth in sales in this company but in spite of that we can see a growth of sales in the last three quarters earlier we can see that the sales were around 53 53 55 and even the operating profit margins but in the june quarter we can see that there is a decline in the operating profit margin because especially the increase in price of the commodities especially the metals generate enough net profit and this is why the net profit is in negative for the june quarter but in future we might expect a positive net profit from this company as the commodity prices get stable and due to this reason also eps of the share is negative in june quarter but before that we can see that company performed well in previous quarters in june 2020 also eps was in negative and both times these two quarters were affected by the lockdown impact because of which earnings were affected one concern for the company is just interest payment as we discussed earlier that the company has used debt because of which interest payments will be high so in future if company is able to reduce this debt burden then it would be great for the company when we have a look at the balance sheet we can see that the reserves of the company have reached to 85 crores and the market cap of the company is around 142 crores so reserves are of good amount this jump in borrowings but when we have a look at the fixed assets we can see a similar jump in fixed assets also so this is positive for the company that the borrowings are used for gathering assets which would be very beneficial in the long term even the investments have grown in march 2021 having a look at the shareholding pattern we can see that promoters holding was around 50 percent in 2018 but in june it has increased to 52 percent so this means that promoters have a lot of trust over the company another positive point about the company while domestic institutions have reduced their shareholding it was around 1.79 percent but now they have nil holding public's holding is around 47.60 so public has huge holding in this company having a look at the past earnings growth then guys we can see that both these percentages are in red which are in negative for industry it is minus seven percent for company it is around minus six percent it is because in the last few years automobile cycle was on a slowdown because of which net income for the company as well as the industry is in negative they were not able to grow their net income but if we have a look at the last one year we can see that the company has been able to grow its net income by 452 percentage and they have completely outperformed the industry industry grew by 137 percentage if we have a look at the financial position of the company we can see that assets are more than the liabilities in the short term though there is not much difference but the important point is that in the long term assets are far more than all the liabilities of the company combined which is again a positive sign for the company if we have a look at the debt to equity portion we can see that the current debt to equity ratio is around 114 percentage where this blue portion is the equity part and this red portion is the debt part while this green line is the cash available with the company we can see that the debt is more than the equity because of which debt to equity ratio is more than 100 percent earlier this red line was below this blue line which meant that the debt to equity ratio was less than 100 percent and future if company pays back some of its debt then again this red line might go downwards and blue line might come above it so guys this is the chart of trident walls on a one day time frame now we can see that this chart has two gap ups the stock gave two gap ups and because of which stock came back to cover these caps we can see in the august month stock covered this cap and now it has covered this cap also in the recent time so this cap can act as a huge support for the stock which is the level of 1200 and currently stock is below its 50 days moving average so i think if someone wants to make a fresh entry in this stock then this level of 1200 could be a good level to enter in this stock on the upper side stock may face resistance from the level of 1400 we can see that in the past stock has faced resistance from this level 
So if someone thinks that 1200 would be a very low level to enter in this stock, then they can think of entering in this stock once it crosses this 1400 level with a good well volume. And if it crosses with a good volume, then we might see a good upward rally in this stock.